again, pajama man. Yes, Dr. Grime. Your nefarious forces of refuse have once again been overcome by those of good and cleanliness. For, For I, I am Pajama Man, man friend, friend of, of the, the good, good foe of, of evil. evil. Pajama Man! Pajama Man! Gee, that was an exciting episode. Pajama Man is the greatest. Oh well, time to turn off the TV. Stay tuned for an important news flash. Pajama Man fans everywhere can meet Pajama Man in person. Today only, Pajama Man will be signing autographs at a shopping mall near you. Wow! I can go meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Oh boy! <laughs> We can meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Mom, the TV said Pajama Man's at the mall and he's signing autographs so we can go meet him. If you can drive me, can we go? Can we go? Mom? Okay, calm down, Sam. I guess I have a few things I could get at the mall. Why don't you go up to your room and pick out something for your hero to sign? I'll make up my shopping list. Oh, boy! Thanks, Mom. I know an autograph is just somebody writing their name. But if I'm going to meet Pajama Man, I've got to have just the right thing for him to sign. Ooh, and I know just what that is. Ugh. Oops, I think I knocked over some stuff. I should probably put some of this stuff away. Maybe later. I want Pajama Man to sign my best comic book! My rare first issue of Pajama Man! Which is... Not here? Oh no! My mint condition extra collectible Pajama Man issue number one is gone! My favorite comic book is missing! There it goes! Oh no! Something or someone pulled it down into that big pile of junk! I don't know what nefarious forces are at work here, but I gotta get my comic book back. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! All I need is my cape. Oh boy. <laughs> Yay! I found my cape! <laughs> now to go after my comic book. Beware, evil doers and stealers of stuff! Here comes Pajama Sam! <laughs> Pajama Man trading cards. I'd better pick that up. Lightning is a big meanie who tries to scare people by making bad weather. Fortunately, Pajama Man has learned not to fear lightning. Fun fact, lightning doesn't wear clothes because they get static clean. I wish I had a cheese sandwich. This is fun! Any bad guys around here better just watch out! I wonder what happened to that itchy old mask I used to wear. I wonder what Pajama Man would do if he were here. Hello, little sock. My name's Sam. Hi, Sam. You sound sad. Is everything okay? Well, now that you mention it, no. What's wrong? Is it something I could help you with? It's a sad situation. I suppose the best way to explain it is this. A sock out on his own is like a sea without a shore. And cause I got some mud on me, I can't get in my drawer. A sock out on his own is just one out of a pair. I miss my matching sock so bad it fills me with despair. They say there's no place for me 
a monk's a clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Having a little dirt on you is not such a bad thing, is it? Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we are a pair apart? Part of a band has been my noble goal. Alone I'm worse than half. Together more than whole. They say there's no place for me. Monks are clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we're a pair? Now do you understand my position? I think so. You're sad because you can't be together with the other blue sock because you're dirty and the other one's clean. Right. Now you're starting to think like a sock. We clothes get very sad when we're not in pairs. Hats don't come in pairs. That's why you never see a happy hat. Oh. Well, why don't you come along with me? Maybe I can help get you and the other sock back together. Do you really mean that? Pajama Sam is on the job. I'm missing something I care about very much, too. My Pajama Man comic book. I saw a comic book. An old half-eaten cheese sandwich came by here just a little bit ago carrying a comic. He said somebody named Dr. Grime was signing autographs at the Grubby Corners Mall, and he wanted this Dr. Grime to sign it. Oh my gosh! I have to find it! If Dr. Grime touches it, it'll be filthy forever! Come on, little sock! I have to find the Grubby Corners Mall! Aha! Cardboard Woman is the most two-dimensional villain Pajama Man ever fought. She was in issue number 338, Do Not Fold, Spindle, or Mutilate, and then return in issue number 609, Scratch and Sniff and Explode. Nobody knows how or why Cardboard Woman came to be. Her best friend is a piece of bubble wrap. Favorite snack, stale ground crackers. Hello. Hi, my name is Sam. Sam, will you be my friend? It's very lonely being the only sock without a companion. Sure, little sock. I'll be your friend. I'm going to try to find a way to get your matching sock clean so that you can get back together. Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. All in a day's work for a superhero. I brought a friend to see you. Hi. It's you. I thought I'd never see you again. I miss you plenty. How oh, I wish I could be up there in the drawer with you. But I can't. I'm still all dirty. Sam, could you please take care of my friend until we can be reunited? Sure. Don't worry. We'll get you clean somehow. And then you can be with your friend again. Gelatin is a founding member of the Lunchboxers. He may wiggle and jiggle, but the bad guys don't laugh when their sticks and stones bounce right off him. He gains his strength from his internal marshmallows. Favorite color, red, although that's not his natural color. Oh! <gasps> 
Ooh, a pajama man trading card. Dr. Grime is pajama man's oldest and dirtiest enemy. He is the lord of all that is dirty and putrid. He has sworn to rid the world of cleanliness and spotlessness. His main power is that everything he touches gets dirty. Dr. Grime first appeared in issue number one, the secret origin of the family. Fun fact, Dr. Grime isn't a real doctor. because I only cost 39 cents. Hi, I used to be a balloon. Before I pop, do you have any balloon glue? I'm sorry, I've never heard of balloon glue. Oh. Hi, what kind of toy are you? I'm a Bake Master 5000. Hey, my Aunt Beth got me a Bake Master 5000 once. I tried to cook a toasted cheese sandwich in it. I left it in there for days, and it never did cook. Hello, I'm Sam. I'm very pleased to meet you. I am Nutcracker. I crack any and all nuts easily and efficiently. Why? But you have big shiny teeth. Everyone in my family has such big teeth. Even a little babushkas. Options, options. Stop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, is it ever dark in here? I think I'm growing. I feel bigger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a trading card. Fizzy Poppins is the carbonated villain who incapacitates people by giving them gas. And not the good kind of gas. She has the power to destroy teeth and spoil dinners. And when she gets all shook up, her force is immeasurable. Fun fact, Fizzy Poppins can eat through steel. That looks like a wad of funny putty. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. Oops, sorry, Mr. Nutcracker. I thank you. It was hard to breathe under such goop. Hey, look, it made a copy of your face. I guess Funny Potty really can copy a picture of anything. So can a box of crayons in hands of an artist. Yeah, but crayons don't stretch. Point taken. I guess Funny Potty truly is toy with thousand uses. I've got some Funny Potty. It looks a little like gum, but there's no way I'm going to chew it. I don't think that's a good place to use Funny Potty. This funny putty really stretches. Let's see if I can stretch it to be as tall as me. Wow, now 
my funny putty looks like me. Excuse me, how late is the mall open today? My comic book is in there and I have to get it back. This mall? Always open. 24 hours a day. That's very convenient. Yes, but rules strictly enforced. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Got it? No shirt? Yes, no shirt. You got no shirt, therefore no service. You won't be going to the mall till you get a shirt. I'm wearing pajamas. Is that close enough? The rules are very specific. Shirt required. <clears throat> Not so fast, kid. You know the rules? What rules? Ignorance of the rules is no excuse. I'm gonna tell you the rules now. We have a strict dress code. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Are you hip to that? Hip? It says, Welcome to Grubby Corners. The mall must be that way. Dag nabbit. Blasted dust bunnies won't hold still long enough for me to catch them. What are those big fuzzy things? I don't know what they are, but they are sure cute and cuddly. Hello. Oh, howdy there. My name's Sam. They call me the Happy Farmer. Nice day, isn't it? I guess so. It's as nice as any other. And that's pretty darn nice in my book. Some days it rains. Them days is nice too. I have to put on my wrapper then, but rain is nice. Rain's good for my crops. What sort of crops do you grow? Spaghetti and breadsticks. I don't have much space, you see, but that's nice too. It doesn't take as long to plow the field. But lately I switched to raising these bunnies. They're so cute. What kind of bunnies are they? Well, them's dust bunnies. They're fun to raise and they raise me a nice profit. I'm supposed to be able to shave them once a week and sell their wool. That's if I can ever catch them. It would be nice to catch them. Aha! The Earthquaker first appeared in issue number 223, Don't Rain on My Parade. He makes earthquakes. Even though earthquakes aren't really a kind of weather, they let him join the foul weatherman because he's just as mean as thunder and lightning. Earthquaker is the most old-fashioned villain of the bunch, so it's usually easy for the pajama man to catch him with his modern crime fighting. Favorite food? Oh. What a weird swamp. It looks like someone spilled their soda pop here. Maybe I can wait across. Ew! It's all gooey and gucky. This spilled soda pop is a real mess. It's too yucky for me to wade through. Hey look! Another trading card! Admiral Peanut Butter is a jewel thief who enjoys swiping things with his sticky fingers and has the power to stick to the roof of other people's mouths. He is often seen in cahoots with Royal Jelly. Fun fact, Admiral Peanut Butter has the superpower to be creamy and chunky at the same time. I would get my feet all achy trying to wade through that yucky stuff. I need some sort of boat. <laughs> that hill is steep. 
I'm going to need to find a different way to get up there. That sparkly clean jar would be good for keeping things in. It's got a lid and everything. There's a trading card. Pajama Man is the flannel garbed guardian of Metro City and is the bravest and best dressed crime fighter around. He never takes off his pajamas, not even in the bathroom. His only weakness is that he is vulnerable to open trap doors. Pajama Man first appeared in issue number one, The Secret Origin of Pajama Man, and has appeared in every issue since then, with the exception of issue number 384, when he was on vacation. Favorite snack? Anything, as long as it's bedtime snack. Look at all the drawers in this dresser. Yay! Look at all the drawers in this dresser. It's a long way up to the top. Guess I'd better start climbing. Hope Mom doesn't catch me climbing on the furniture. Darkness is one scary dude. He can creep up on you at night. He's real sneaky and likes to hide in the shadows. Pajama Man has used his trusty Illuminator Mark V to defeat darkness many times. Most notably in issue number 15, The Thing Under the Bed, and issue number 791, The Deep Dark Secret of the Center of Darkness. Favorite color? You guessed it. Pitch black. Favorite food? Dark chocolate. Hey, there's a sponge. You sure look squishy. That's because I'm a sponge. That's what I thought. You're a bright boy. I'm Pajama Sam. And I'm a sponge. I'm a sponge. I know. Gosh, you're smart. That fish net would be useful for catching any sort of critter smaller than me. Hi, Sponge. Oh, hi, Sam. Do you have any mold for me to eat? No, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't even have a cheese sandwich. If you see me, will you come back and get me? I so love mold. You got it. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. Dust Devil is one of the foul weathermen. He has the power to blow people around, and also he makes them cough if they inhale a little of it. He can blow down houses of straw, houses of sticks, and even houses of brick. But to Pajama Man, Dust Devil is just a big blow -off. Fun fact, Dust Devil collects chamois cloths. Those are some big raisins. You sure are heavy. If these heavy raisins were on the eating end, I'll bet that whatever was on the other end of the spoon would go flying. Gee, someone forgot to eat the last of their cereal. Oh, 
disguise for Pajama Man's portable bad guy containment unit. As its name suggests, this is an inescapable portable jail that Pajama Man uses for locking up bad guys. It works best on the ones who are pretty small, but Pajama Man's strong enough that he can cram any bad guy in there if he wants to. Fun fact, the portable bad guy containment unit contains a removable thermos with an unlimited supply of orange juice. What a nice young man you are. I'm Grandma Sweater. I'm almost through with this copy of Knitting Weekly if you want to borrow it. No, thank you. I don't knit. You don't knit? Oh, that's a shame. In the good old days, everyone liked to knit. I wish I could knit, because I sure could use a shirt. Well, since I love to knit, I'd be glad to knit a shirt just for you if you bring me some yarn. I sure could use a shirt. Thanks a bunch. Any sort of yarn will do. There's a trading card. They may look cute, but these pasty little critters are malevolent milk molecules, and they're pure greasy hate. They're the evil opposite of regular milk molecules. Instead of making bones strong and healthy, they eat bones from the inside. Once they got into Milkman's body, the Pajama Man was able to shrink himself down and go inside to kick them out. His favorite color. Wow! Cool! Is that your crane? Well, I get to drive it, but they won't let me take it home at night. Aww. Yeah, the boss has a policy about not letting us borrow anything that can be used to knock down his house. What's this crane used for? Well, it's supposed to be used for clearing that junk over there but one of the control levers got busted and lost. I can move the crane this way, and this way. But without the other lever, I can't pick up that stuff, and it's just piling up. I'll keep my eyes peeled for something we can use as a lever. Thanks a bunch. The sooner I get the crane fixed, the sooner I can go on my coffee break. If I threw the sock into that big hole, I don't think I'd ever see it again. Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card! 
criminals cower when they see the pajama mobile on the horizon because they know the pajama man is behind the wheel of the super souped up super coupe. This car seat six contains a vast array of gadgets such as the incredible crime detector. And best of all, it matches Pajama Man's outfit. Pajama Man first drove the Pajama Mobile in issue number 15, The Race to the Great Bake Off. And it got banged up in issue number 467, The Disintegration Derby. Fun fact, the Pajama Mobile's windows are made of special glass that cannot be broken, only bent. There are so many peanuts in that bag. I bet nobody would notice if one was missing. Ah, oh, the peanut, the misunderstood nut. Fireflies are hard to catch. I think my hands are too small. The little fireflies go right through the net. I'll have to catch them with something else. Blasted dust bunnies won't hold still. Well, I guess that's not going to work. Following. Wow, I must have lassoed the main bunny. Yep, you done did good. Now let's get these bunnies ready for shaving. Dust bunny yarn for you. Thought you might like some yarn for helping me out with the bunnies. Hey, look! Another trading card! The remote remover breaks into people's homes and steals their TV remotes as part of his dastardly plan to force them to watch infomercials. The remote remover was featured in issue number 271, Channel Chaos, and issue number 398. Boredom of Doom. The remote remover tries to conceal one shocking secret. He cuts his own hair. Favorite color, warm gray. Now you look like you need a shave. Well, I'm sure this fuzz will come off the next time my horse Ginger licks me. Horses like to lick me for some reason. I wonder why. Well, at least it saves me the trouble of having to take bath. Hey there, Mr. Nutcracker. My name is Sam, and I have a nut that needs opening. Yes, comrade. I can open any nut. I have opened nuts for all crowned heads of Europe. Here it is. Thank you much. 
peanut is delicious. Here is leftover shell. I'd put it in my scrapbook if I had one, but I don't, so I'll just keep it in my pocket. over there. It hasn't melted yet. Preparing to launch Peanut Boat. This is Pajama Sam, captain of the SS Peanut, ready to sail. to its crimes have trouble identifying it because evil underwear is always changing itself. These illegal briefs first appeared in issue number 413, look out behind, and then in issue number 571, sit on it. Favorite color, off the light. My ice cube melted. full of shoes. I guess it's a shoe tree. <laughs> I wonder if they stay up there all the time. I don't think this net is long enough. I don't want to get into trouble. That's the biggest shoehorn I've ever seen. I bet it's really, really loud. It's all clogged up. Ew, it's full of mold. No wonder it tastes funny. Hello? My name's Sam. What do you do? I am a bishop. Don hat. What kind of hat is that? They call it a mitre. I call it a nuisance. Once it fell off and poked me in the toe. Hello? I think the lights are on, but nobody's home. If you catch my drift. Oh. Hi there. Is that a real crown? Well... The king is too busy to speak with you. Yes, dear. May I please talk to the king? Let me think a second. No. I get the feeling this conversation's going nowhere. Hello. My name is Sam. Just Sam? I'm Pajama Sam. Hmm. Members of the royal family do not associate with normal people like you. Her Royal Highness the Queen only talks to fellow royalty. And then only with an engraved invitation. What does that mean? It means you won't be talking to her. Oh. <coughs> nice horsey. <coughs> How many games of chess have you played? Hello, little guy. I'm Sam. I'm a pawn. Are pawns important in chess? We must be. 
We're the ones the other players capture first. Why, that is a handsome jar. A fine receptacle for holding all manner of small things. Does this belong to you? Ah! <laughs> yeah, why, how did that get there? I say, thank thee, young man. Thanks a lot. Why, that is a handsome jar. A fine receptacle for holding all manner of small things. That's not something I can put in my jar. Another card! She's purple, she's grape, and she's the queen of the jelly sea. Royal Jelly is a distant cousin of Captain Gelatin, but she's not a solid citizen like him. In fact, she's running in Uzi and a wanted criminal. Once she took over an entire movie theater, favorite color, purple, duh. That looks like a big slingshot. Here goes. Silky and it knits real fast. I'll knit a shirt just for you. Try it on. How? I guess I should have left at least one neck hole. Oh dear, this can't possibly fit you. But still, it's a very nice, um, shirt. I'm so sorry, young man. If only I had a pattern to work from, I know I could make you a fine shirt. I'll get you a pattern to work from. Does it have to be any particular kind of pattern? No, it has to show your specific size and shape. Of course. I think I found a pattern. Will this do? That's quite a pattern you've got there. It's every bit as handsome as you. Aw, oh, gee, thanks. Thank you for bringing me such an excellent pattern. One shirt coming right up. Do you like it? It looks just great. Thanks for the compliment. I like your looks, too. Oh, it likes you. You're a perfect fit for me, and vice versa. Gosh, thanks a bunch, Grandma. You're welcome, young man. You look pretty comfy in your jammies right now, Sam. Why don't you just hold on to me for later? Sounds good. Hello, 
Hello. 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 My name's Sam. What are your names? Hello. 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 Can't you say anything else? Hello. 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 You know, I think there's something wrong with those clothes. <laughs> Those fireflies would be great to bring along. It wouldn't be nice to put the fireflies in my jar until I make some holes in the lid. They need holes so they can breathe. I can't... I know where there's a big bunch of mold just for you. Oh boy, mold. Come and get me, Sam. <laughs> Hello. Bonjour, petit pajama person. I am Jacques Scooball. The famous underwater explorer. Aren't you getting soggy in there? This waterproof suit and me big helmet are keeping me high and dry. I am dry as a bone. Can you dive all the way to the bottom of the fish tank? There are not many other places I can go dressed like this. But in the fish tank, I am the well-dressed man about town. That makes sense, in a way. Exploring the underwater kingdom is my passion. I am married to the sea. I have no idea what you mean by that. But I think your big helmet's cool. Oui, it is the latest fashion in diver helmets. This suit is quite nice as well. Do you know sponge? Oui. Sometimes this sponge will clean the mold off of the glass on my helmet. The sponge loves the mold. That is good because I do not like the mold. Do you think you could bring sponge to me? I know a certain place where there's plenty of mold for it. Oui, it would be my pleasure. Oh boy, mold, here I come. Here is the sponge. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Scubo. You're welcome. I am here whenever you want to hear of the beauty of the incredibly awe-inspiring underwater kingdom. Do you think you could poke holes in my jar lid now? <sighs> Certainly. Ow! My head! I think I'd better stop now. That's plenty of holes. Thank you, Mr. Bishop. Aha! The serious bowler is a constant thorn in Pajama Man's side. He likes bowling. He only likes bowling. He wants to remake the world so that everything involves bowling and nobody will ever be allowed to stop bowling. 
Most people would agree that a little bowling is fun. But this guy just goes too far. Fun fact, a serious bowler can eat his own weight in pretzels. Oh boy, oh boy. I smell mold. Mold, 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 mold. Where's the mold? There? There! There's mold in that shoehorn. Wow! Did you eat all that mold? All of it! Mold's all gone! Mold all gone! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I ate the whole thing! I think I better go like that now. Thank you. I'm glad the sponge likes to taste of mold, because I sure don't. I can see my reflection. I guess it's clean enough now. I'm glad this net has a long handle. They like me. I think I'll keep them. The mall guard will want to see these. Fly catching time. They look like they're okay in there. Having a bee in your bonnet is bad, but having fireflies in your pocket is I can't see a thing. I need something that will light up this place. Look, I've got a shadow. These fireflies are the brightest bugs I've ever seen. I think they like the gum. My fireflies want to flee. Fireflies, be free! I'll just leave this here for the fireflies to use as a home. Look at that sucker! Wow, that is some sticky gum. There's a trading card! Thunderous Lightning's partner in crime when the two of them stir up scary bad weather. Thunder always wears rubber-soled sneakers when around Lightning. Thunder first appeared in issue number 803, the weather wore tennis shoes. Fun fact, Thunder's bicycle is louder than most motorcycles. Sometimes cold gum is less sticky.
That did it all right. I got the sucker. Yay! Short two socks. Please obtain socks twenty two. It says Grubby Corners Mall. My comic book should be somewhere inside. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. Scott Brothers is not just a scientist, he's a super scientist. Dr. Brothers is the head of SHMO, the superhero health maintenance organization. It's his job to care for any superheroes who are sick, and since they don't get sick much, he spends most of his time doing research. He's so smart that he's discovered cures for dozens of diseases that don't even exist yet. Fun fact, Dr. Brothers can do two crossword puzzles at the same time, or four if he uses his feet. and stuff. Thanks a bunch for fixing it. You're welcome. And you fixed it just in time for my coffee break. How'd you like to keep an eye on the crane for a few minutes? Like to? I'd love to! Well, in you go. Okay, gotta make the trash go away. the mall guard. Hey, look! I found you the biggest washing machine you ever saw! Wow, that is big. And wet. And soapy. Geronimo! That felt good. I'm glad you liked it. It was fun to watch, too. I haven't been this clean since, well, I don't know when. I'll try not to get you dirty before I get you back with your friend. I don't want to fall off that cliff. Hey, look. Another trading card. 
The pajama pewter is Pajama Man's super powerful computer. It's over 10 times as powerful as an ordinary computer, which is why it fills an entire room. The pajama pewter helps Pajama Man fight crime, balance his checkbook, and play exciting computer games. The pajama pewter is powered by a special kind of electricity only available to superheroes. Fun fact, the pajama pewter can also be used to slice bologna. Hello, my matching sock. I'm home. I'm so glad you're here. Are you clean enough to come in? Clean as a whistle. Hooray! <laughs> Sam, thanks a million for cleaning me. And thanks two million for bringing my best friend back. Sam, you're a great friend. Yes, Sam, you're a great friend. Thanks. Would you two like to go exploring with me? Well, okay, as long as we don't have to do any walking. And I haven't been out of that drawer in ages. Then hop into my pocket and we'll be off. I'll bet that mall guard will be happy to see you. You can count on us for help if you ever need a clean pair of socks. Not so fast. Hold it right there, Buster. Yes. I want to see your shirt. Hello. And shoes. And you better have socks, too. Hello, officer. Howdy, officer. Hmm. Shirt, shoes, socks. Well, kid, it looks like you're in total compliance with our dress code. You're a good citizen. Enjoy your shopping experience. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are we there yet? We're here! Inside the Grubby Corners Mall! Hooray! It's shopping time! I can shop for a lint brush! Thanks for the lift, Sam. We're off to shop. See you later! Bye! There's a trading card! Milkman was once an ordinary dairy farmer until he drank some weird milk from his cow Clementine and gained magical milk powers. Pajama Man fought tiny evil doers inside Milkman's body in issue number 619. The Milkman always burped twice. Milkman also appeared in issue number 217, the London Dairy Airhead. Fun fact, Milkman likes coconut milk. Another card! Hero Sandwich is the leader of the Lunchboxers, an informal association of food-related superheroes. He spends much of his time at Lunchboxers headquarters doing experiments in a secret refrigerated crime lab. Hero Sandwich first appeared in issue number 71. That's not my baloney! Secret weakness. Hero Sandwich is weak and cheap yellow mustard. The creamed okra on a single is delicious. You gonna have any? Welcome to Leavings and Squeezings, the fabulous house of pizza. Do you want to see a menu? No, thanks. I'm just browsing. 
Ooh, a pajama man trading card. The last card of my collection. I have officially found them all. The Illuminator Mark V emits a brilliant beam of energy to zap bad guys, especially those who cower in the shadows. It's the flashiest weapon around. With unlimited range and stylish chrome trim, the Illuminator is powered by special super batteries, sized PJ. Pajama Man carries it with him everywhere, except when he doesn't need it. Fun fact, an earlier model of the Illuminator Mark IV had to be replaced when it was eaten by the silk cushion monster. Congratulations! You found all the Pajama Man trading cards! Congratulations, sir. You are our lucky 30th customer. Yay! What do I win? You win this fantastical special prize winner pass. It is a great honor to win this prize. It is printed on durable paper and is sure to bring you hours of fun for years to come. Enjoy your special prize winner pass. I wonder what I can use this for. Oh well, I'll hold on to it. Well, why didn't you say you had a special prize winner pass? You're special, and you're a prize winner, so you can pass. Please go to the head of the line immediately. Hey, look! It's Dr. Grime! Huh? What? Where? Look! It's Dr. Grime! Dr. Grime, will you shine my hanky? Will you shine my underwear? I'm not Dr. Grime! I'm a Jim Hey, keep that line straight. Dr. Grime! Dr. Grime! I said I'm not Dr. Grime! Hey, no touching! Dr. Grime! Yikes! There it is! Issue number one, I found you at last! Holy cow! How did I get so dirty today? I'm as dirty as Dr. Grime! Maybe dirtier! No wonder those kids thought I was him! I need to clean myself up. I can't get past those kids while I look like Dr. Grime. Also, I don't want to handle my comic book while I'm all dirty, or it'll get all dirty. I wonder if there's anything I can wash with here. This room doesn't have a sink. It looks like the only way I could get some water is from that fire sprinkler up there. I bet if I could get that sprinkler to turn on, it would wash me right off. This should keep Pajama Man number one from getting wet. Who's there? I'm your friendly local humans and squeezins delivery person. Does Dr. Grime want anything? Not right now, thank you. Okay, I'll just leave this menu in case you change your mind. This isn't a very fancy menu. 
I can only order four different things. Cold string beans? Frozen eggs? Iced bacon? Or hot cocoa? Iced bacon, please. Wow, that was quick. I guess they can deliver it extra fast if most of the food is cold. Who is it? Your favorite leavings and squeezing delivery person with your order. Thank you. Enjoy your fine food with our compliments. You have excellent taste. Have a nice day, sir. Ew, this is so cold that just looking at it makes my teeth hurt. One humongous hot cocoa, please. Who is it? Your favorite leavings and squeezing delivery person with your order. Thank you. Enjoy your fine food with our compliments. You have excellent taste. Have a nice day, sir. This hot cocoa lives up to its name. It's really hot. In fact, it's too hot to drink right now. <laughs> I wonder what Pajama Man would do if he were here. Pajama Sam, defender of the weak and helpless. Hey, where does that go? It looks like I can just barely squeeze in there. This is a tight squeeze. I'm a round boy in a square duct. I better suck in my tummy. Ta-da! I'm right next to the sprinkler now. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't be doing this. And I certainly wouldn't advise any of my friends to do this. I hope this is hot enough. Yay! I'm clean! Now I can get my comic book. What's this? Water is falling from the sky. It feels so good to be clean. Hey, no splash. Dr. Grime? Who are you? I am the squeaky clean hero, Pajama Sam. Today, I came dangerously close to turning dirty. But from today on, I shall fight the forces of dirt and strive for cleanliness in all that I do. Kid, you're a good citizen. Well, I learned one thing. From now on, I'm going to keep my room more picked up so I won't lose anything else this important. And if I do, it will sure be easier to find it. I'm going to be just like Pajama Man and keep the- Hey, is that a rare Pajama Man issue number one? Yes, indeed. It is the very rare Pajama Man issue number one in mint condition in its plastic bag. Today I was going to take it to get it autographed by Pajama Man himself, and... Oh my gosh! I almost forgot about that! I gotta hurry and meet him before he's gone! Mom! <laughs> Wait for me!
Would you like to restart the game?